What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Potter with Grandmaster Glass, your home for glass blowing. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. You know what that means? Weekly glass recap. If you're new here, we talk about all things heady glass, new artists, shows, products, anything to do with the heady glass community. Coming from a glass blower's perspective, as well as somebody who buys and just loves glass, I aim to make these videos informational as well as entertaining. And if you do enjoy my videos, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This video is sponsored by Ruby Pearl Co., your one-stop shop for glass and smoking accessories. Make sure you support the channel by using the code WEEKLYGLASS710 at checkout for 10% off your entire purchase. I've got links down below where you can find cool shirts like this one, the Ruby Squirrel Co. shirt. Always makes me smile when I see it. Now announcing the giveaway winner before we get this video going. Provided by Ruby Pearl Co., of course. The winner of the complete slurper set is John Stevens. So congrats, buddy, on that. Send me a message on Instagram and I will get that set out to you. Then this week's giveaway that we're going to be running is going to be one of Ruby Pearl Co.'s new Ruby valve pillars. Crazy function on those for slurpers. So if you're interested in that, make sure you like this video. Comment down below which artist was your favorite and make sure you're subscribed and you'll be entered to win that valve pillar. So let's jump right into this week's episode. So so many good things it's always so hard to choose what to talk about each week you can only talk about so much but we're starting off with somebody i have talked about before glass pav pav man this is so cool this is calcifer from Howl's moving castle and i am a sucker for sculpture anything sculpture just nails it for me i just love that that ability to make glass into you know animate objects things that uh, are relatable things that are, are tangible and things that you can uh, recognize you know not just patterns and so the fact that he made this calcifer in the blue form and then made it blue v in the uv blue color so good it's so realistic it really does look like the actual animation the character and when he gets upset or gets kind of scared he turns colors and then it's glow in the dark i did not even realize it was glow in the dark i just marked it saved and i guess i didn't finish i did not finish watching the video so this is great for the episode series because this is what i'm talking about you just miss things on your on your instagram travels if you're just scrolling you just might miss it so there you go glass pav putting in the extra little bit of magic on that one on calcifer right here hollow the tech in that kind of blue to fade to darker blue really really cool this pendant is amazing congrats whoever got this in their collection so yeah glass pav doing it up here we've got somebody new to me c helic i think is how you say their name and then they were a collab with mock glass mak and they call this a xl saxophone so that's kind of like, like the main reason i wanted to feature that this week never heard a sherlock style piece be called a saxophone and i really like that that's gonna stick with me but the uh jellyfish is made by mock and then the rest of the sax the xl saxophone is made by c helic so really cool kind of uh really popular right now with the proxy attachments i made a video on that a couple episodes ago really really cool though on the name very very awesome go check them out here we have got somebody i've featured before as well lazy glass but this one just brought a smile to my face and i needed to feature it for you guys if you've seen uh the animated series spongebob there's an episode where they're having a fight over like the number one hat it's like a, a drinking hat that you can put crazy straws in funny funny as heck episode but he made a slurper set to uh in that theme and basically the 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 winner of the hat waited so long he died so like this is the piece from the spongebob episode and i just love that i think that's really awesome so tiny really really extremely tiny and the fact that it kind of like stays snug on the spine crazy and i think he has a function video at the end yep right here got a function of the slipper set working and yeah just really fun sculptural work very tiny and it's from a really awesome episode so it's just one of those things where you gotta know if you know you know and it, when you know it's freaking awesome so yeah gla lazy glass doing it up if you don't know now you know so here we've got PuffCon, pretty self-explanatory. I thought I'd just talk about it here, make a note of it. Very interested to see what it's, what it is even, just based on the flyer. Uh, you can probably guess what it is, but PuffCon Block Party, and it is downtown LA. So downtown Los Angeles, October 1st. 
anything public downtown LA sounds insane. So I am definitely going to keep an eye out for that. Really, I have no clue what it's going to entail. I'm just guessing kind of just a bunch of vendors and music and a little bit of food. Um, I don't know. Can you uh, can you use Puffco's in public in LA? I don't I don't know. Like, I guess uh, like depending on what you put in it, but just something pretty crazy to take note of. And I think that's going to be really cool. So public, uh, you know, block party downtown LA. Puffco provided uh block party sounds pretty cool to me i'm interested i will keep you guys updated on that one here we've got legendary artist yunk glass and he had created this series body language and the fact that he is just able to continue to expand into this this series the fact that he uses glass as the medium and he's able to express all of these different feelings and emotions and body language through his glass crazy crazy you know, it just goes without saying. You can just look at the pictures all day. It speaks for itself, but got the big middle finger up. I like the kind of the signature of his style with the kind of almost cyborg looking eye, the placement where he decided to put the signature. And yeah, just the chopped off arm, just how it looks and how it feels just for open to interpretation. But yeah, he calls this one not giving an F. So yeah, Young Glass, legendary with the series body language. So I'm sure if you don't know, now you know, but go check him out. So here we've got somebody who uh, I've, I've had people suggest glass hole before. So I'm featuring him now. This is awesome. He took the time to make a stop motion video of all of these, uh, these color crowns that he's putting out. And it's just cool to, it's something I've not seen. So I wanted to take note of it here. The fact that he took the time just making a stop motion takes a lot of time it, it's not a one second deal so just that extra bit of creativity that he added to drop doing this drop really really cool the whole open mouth thing is what he's legendary for and over the years following him uh i've seen him kind of go in and out of popularity but right now he is hitting the torch hard crushing it out and i really love his work i've probably been following him since before i was blowing glass so if you don't know now you know glass hole here we've got Kabuki Glass, once again, Legendary of Legends. This guy, and I'm, I'm going to touch base on Kabuki uh, at the end of the episode. He, do, he has a collab that I'm going to talk about. But he invented this kind of compression flower tech. Like, this is his thing that he coined, and he showed a bunch of people how to do. He's got demos, like, on Corning Museum of Glass, and... His pieces are truly breathtaking. I mean, the clarity in those pedals, how much movement, it's just like, it's straight magic, even as a glass blower coming from me. It's like really, really, really cool to see. And it's it's to be to be uh, something to be valued and appreciated. So yeah, I really hope you do know about Kabuki Glass. If you don't know, now you know. So here we've got a product from Dabrite, uh, not sponsored, just wanted to talk about it. I think it's valid to talk about. I've seen a few companies kind of create these removable trays, but Dabrite is famous for the temp gauges that had the, the adjustable necks. And now they've come out with this kind of like a travel basket where you can kind of keep all your accessories clean. The way it kind of just leans on a baller jar so you can just fill a baller jar up with alcohol and just travel with it. That was really cool. I've, like I said, I've seen quite a few products from different companies. I just thought I'd just take a second to tell you guys about this one. I really like the ease of use and just how simple it seemed. So yeah, dab right. Uh, as well, the they put in the co the they put in the caption that Magic Johnson is one of the founders, the co-founders. So I think that's kind of cool to note. I had already followed him, and I just didn't realize he was one of the founders of dab right. So the more you know. Here we have got some Millies from Ryan McCuller and boy Skeletor to the max. The clarity, how like well those lines are between the teeth and the eyes and just around the cape. This is an extremely clean Millie. I might even pick up a few for myself, but he sells a lot of Millies just by the by the gram in bunches so other artists can use his Millies in their own artwork. Uh, because Millie making in itself is its own art form. It takes a lot of work and time. 
So being able to sell your millis to other artists so they can put them and attach them on things. People like Keys Glass, he, he makes only milli stuff with other people's millis. So it just gives a lot of opportunity in the glass community to do a lot of cool things. But this one I thought was one of the cleanest millis I've seen here lately in a small form like this. So yeah, go check them out. If you're a milli collector, just somebody who likes them, you could even have a, your favorite artist order milli from this guy and they can put them on pieces. So there's a lot of possibilities and I'm just not sure if anybody ever thinks of that, but you can, you as a customer can request an artist use somebody else's milli. So more you know. Here, so this is the one that is doubled up with uh, Kabuki glass and this one in a way it's i guess it's not a forced forced collab but that is a kabuki marble in the center and piper dan said that he had a old demo kabuki marble and there it is right there laying around from 18 years ago and he decided to do something fun with it so in the art world it sounds a little bit more negative and it can be negative but this is a forced collab where somebody else has somebody's artwork and they want to, without necessarily their permission or being in front of them or even hanging out with them, they take their artwork and apply their own artwork on top of it or with it or however, you know, it may be or however they want to apply their art to, to it. Because once you technically buy something, it's yours and you're able to do with it what you want uh, with hopefully with the utmost respect and things like that. So I just think it was really cool that Piper Dan found this marble, had it laying around, decided to repurpose it. And boy, did he make a special one-of-one -one heater. He's got his really cool uh, cherry blossoms, then he's got his shrines, and just everything about that marble paired up with the kabuki jellyfish on the inside. Crazy legendary, there's even some tiny little shrooms there. So really cool to see and like like the whole story, like I was saying, just a forced collab and just opportunities that that presents glass being a medium that you can reheat. Same with uh, you've seen artists take canvases and repaint on canvases. Similar, different, but uh, really cool to take note of. So if you don't know, now you know about forced collabs. And yeah, so here coming up on the very last one for this week, Heater of Heaters. This one is Taka Tako Miyaki. I think it's how I'm saying. I think I'm saying his name properly. Japanese team Japan. But man, oh man, this is crazy. This, I mean, he says in the caption, Tommy and the happy skulls. Once your eyes start to focus, you can kind of see the skulls around the outside. And then it's got what I think is Tommy in the center. I'm sure somebody knows the whole story or backstory on this, but it is actually double layered so he's got one initial layering on the back and this is all stippling tiny tiny little dots then he's got a mirror image of that tommy character laid on top of that first image then it's faceted the opal the super unique veil but man oh man so much i mean i can't even guess how much time goes into pieces like this the dot stippling technique and then I've never, I've seen people layer the dot stipplings on top of each other, but I've never seen them mirror another image on top. I've seen them kind of use windows and different opportunities, but never the same image doubled over twice. So that's just crazy to note. And it's a pleasure to be able to look at it on screen and to know that stuff like this exists, gives me inspiration. Hopefully it gives you inspiration, whatever it invokes in you when you look at things like this. Because it's there's a lot going on. There's a lot to think about. There's a lot to appreciate. And yeah, it's just next level work that I just don't ever see. I've never even personally seen one of his pieces in real life. So all, all we can do here is just appreciate and know that it exists. So I think that's going to wrap up this week's episode. We're going to switch over the camera. Another fantastic episode for you guys this week. Sponsored by Ruby Pearl Co. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Like I said, giveaways each episode. Make sure you comment, like, comment, and subscribe down below which artist was your favorite. And I'm going to be choosing giveaways each week. This week's giveaway, like I said, is going to be the Valve Pillar. So if you're interested in that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Crazy stuff this week. I'm interested to see what happens with that PuffCon. So that'll be cool to keep note of. 
and yeah hopefully you found some really cool artists some people that you didn't know about maybe some inspiration and some creativity to carry with you throughout the week just educating and entertaining and hopefully you're finding some value in my videos legalize it talk about it but most importantly never stop evolving <laughs>